A woman was struck and killed by a car on Dickinson Street in Springfield last night, and concerns over pedestrian safety have intensified with a growing number of similar deadly accidents. 22 News reporter Heath Kalb is live in studio with what's being done to prevent them. Heath? Alana, according to MassDOT traffic data, there have already been 48 crashes involving pedestrians this year in Springfield, and this is the second of which that resulted in a death. Around 8 p.m. Thursday night, Springfield police were called to the 200 block of Dickinson Street for a crash involving a vehicle and pedestrian. Springfield police spokesperson Ryan Walsh told 22 News the adult woman was taken to Bay State Medical Center where she died due to her injuries. And scary crashes like these are occurring more and more frequently. According to pedestrian safety group Walk Boston, there was a 35% increase in fatal pedestrian crashes in 2022 compared to the previous year. And this year, we're seeing more of the same. Of the 351 total cities and towns in Massachusetts, 60 had a deadly pedestrian crash in 2022. And some factors of the incidents are infrastructure speeding and distracted driving. I spoke to community members who live and work by the area of that crash on Dickinson Street who tell me that they make sure to be extra cautious. They drive a little bit too fast. We have to watch out and until they clear it out, then they walk. The biggest problem that I find living here, crossing these streets, people that just drive aggressively. When they come around the corner, they don't expect somebody's going to be standing there trying to cross. A bill passed last year by former Governor Charlie Baker in response to all of these crashes requires all drivers to provide at least four feet of space between them and vulnerable road users when passing. Working for you live in the studio, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.